Hey there, comic fans. This is Comic Fan with once again another episode of The Humble Hall. Made a couple stops this week. Not too bad. Actually, I made two stops today. Made a stop to a um, to a little store. Picked up a couple books there. And finally picked up a Craigslist haul. Craigslist hauls are so hard to pick up. It seems like there's a bunch of vultures on Craigslist just snatching them up left and right, left and right. But I finally got a hold of one, and I'll, I'll deal with that in just a second. Hope your uh, week is good. Hope your holidays are better. So uh, I'll start off with this here. Web of Spider-Man 118. Uh, got this from the the uh, the little store I, I visited. Got a couple books for about 15 bucks, and this was in it. So uh, I, I'm all right with that. This is the one book I've... I uh, haven't been able to find anywhere, not in the wild, no anywhere. Um, strangely enough, a lot of people can find it fairly easy. Of course, you know, I always see it this way. If you find it in a, in a, uh, at a comic book show, it's not technically finding it in the wild, is it? Uh, this is something I actually found in the wild, just out there. I think this counts. So, I got that. That was really great. Along with that, I got Justice Society of America number one. Ah, oh, it's got a cool little first appearance in there. You all know about that. So, I got that. Uh, I also picked up another New Mutants number 18. That's eh, not too bad. That was really fun picking that up. Oh, here's something. Here's another book I have not ever been able to find in the wild. Punisher meets Archie. You know, you look at this and you think the title suggests that it would be a total bloodbath, don't you think? And strangely enough, I don't think anybody gets shot or anything in this. What a letdown. I, mean, I don't want to see Archie die, but, you know, he's meeting up with the Punisher. Someone's going to get shot, right? But, um, no, sadly, no, I don't think so. Uh, anyway, that that was cool. But you know, in this, in the um, the store I went to, this was also bagged with one of the books, and I didn't bother to to check. Honestly, um, Wolverine number eighty. That was a nice little thing uh, that I got uh, for that little stack for fifteen bucks. I said, "Wow, okay, now I actually feel better about um, spending fifteen bucks on that." The guy wanted twenty, and I said, Ugh. "You know, the guy." Uh, he, even though he wanted 20 you know what the bad thing was? He checked eBay. And I'm like, oh, he stated to me, well, this one's going for this on eBay. Like, I don't care how much it's going for eBay. How much are you selling it for? You know, and even if you're selling it for that, what makes you think that I'm going to go and, and pay that much for him? I don't think so. So 15 bucks was all right. I felt better about that. Okay, so... In this Craigslist haul, before I get started, let me just tell you, in these parts where I live, I would have to say that uh, Lightning2288 is the undisputed king of Craigslist. It seems like every time there's a haul out there, he sniffs it out and grabs it up. And no hatred on, on Lightning. I mean, I, the guy's great. He's, he's great at, at finding the finds. He just finds them before I do. So, um... Yeah, I guess I'd have to say thank you to Lightning for letting me have this one. Um, although, uh, what was I gonna say? Uh, yeah, just all all props to to Lightning for um, being the the king of the Craigslist. Okay, so I got about sixteen books, sixteen books, and I paid. Oof, it hurts my wallet. I paid three hundred and twenty-five dollars for all this stuff. That hurts. But when you think about it and do the math, uh, it comes out to about $20 a book. And you know what? Once I show the books, you guys decide for yourself so how much I paid. Was it too much? Was it too little? Did I come out good? Let me know, please, just like everybody else does. All right. Let's start off with Incredible Hulk 142. Um, it's the return of Valkyrie. That was not so bad. Um, there is a little bit of soiling on this one. I didn't, I didn't notice, but yeah, not bad. Oh, I also got Invincible Iron Man, number 47. This is the retelling of the origin. Not too bad. 
that's not a bad book to have for 20 bucks. Uh, I don't have any of these sorted, but anyway, I got a Daredevil number 168 for 20 bucks. Things are looking a little better, aren't they? First appearance of Electra. Ah, you know, I'm pretty excited right now. Not, not you know, $325 excited, but ah, it gets better. It gets better. Uh, I've got Invincible Iron Man 54. First of, uh, well, everybody says it's the first appearance of Moondragon, but actually she she uh, she goes by somebody else in this. Madam, Madam Evil, or is it Madam McEvil? I don't know. I don't remember. I bought all of these in the parking lot of the Mac uh, McDonald's. So, uh, yeah, Madam McEvil. We'll just name him Madam McEvil. Uh, <laughs> okay, uh, Incredible Hulk, 178, The Death of Warlock. But you know what? You look at the last page, he's still alive. What is going on with that? And I'm going to open this up because you guys know I love the opening sound of a comic book. And let's cross our fingers. No tape pulls, no tape pulls. You get one tape pull, guys. You'll know for the rest of life not to make that mistake ever again. He kind of flies away. What's up with that? Now, I got this book because... Um, I was really intrigued because Tom Ryan has shown it a bunch of times, actually two times recently. And I was like, hey, Tom Ryan, what's going on with that? You said he was dead. Where, you know, you show the book like he's dead, and I go in there and he's still alive. Not, I don't wish any deaths on anybody, but if you're going to kill somebody, you kill somebody. And then bring them back later. All right. So I got an X-Men number 99. That's not too bad. And an X-Men 98. Still going strong. Uh, an X-Men, Uncanny X-Men 133. I like that one. I needed all three of those. I need a lot of them. Have you guys seen Detroit Madman, though? Detroit Madman is just killing it with these X-Men's. I'm a little envious of that. All right. Then we got... New Teen Titans, number two, first appearance of Deathstroke. Now I'm starting to feel like my $325 was pretty well spent, although not justified too completely. And not like I broke even or anything, but I'll figure that out later. Oh, that was good. That was a big relief. Oh, here we go. I got, finally, Flash 324 and Flash 325. A while back... Uh, last time I saw Lightning, I was kidding with him. I said, hey, we found these. And his eyes got all wide. And I said, no, I'm just kidding. I can't even find them myself. But he found them before I did. So that's cool. Death of Professor Zoom. Okay. Another one I got. Captain America. Captain America. <laughs> Captain Marvel number 18 is where uh, Carol Danvers gets her powers. Pretty excited about that. I also got a Captain Marvel number 33. Um, he actually had the whole Thanos run, but this was the best book out of that little run. The best in condition, that is. And I couldn't bring myself to buy the others, unfortunately. Oh, let's see. DC Comics Presents number 26. First appearance of... Yeah, you guys fill in the bank. Fill in the blank. It's um, Teen Titans. Cool book. And I also got... I'm down. You guys still with me? You still with me? Great. I got like three more books to show you. Amazing Spider-Man 135. Second appearance of the Punisher. That's a, a small upgrade to the one I have. Or had. Because uh, it's, it's not going to be here much longer. Because I'm just going to upgrade it. Not much better than the one I had. It's still got spine ticks and stuff, but I don't know. Until another one comes along, I guess I'll use that one. All right, here we go. I got an Incredible Hulk number 180. It's used and a little bit loved, but it's mine now, and um, <clears throat> I'm pretty happy with that. I don't think I'll be upgrading this for a while. I don't really want to spend the money on it. But for those who have not seen it, 
Uh, we'll show you the last panel. You guys have seen it, haven't you? Once again, there's that sound of the uh, the comic book bag makes. Okay, get on out of there. So Wolverine makes his cameo appearance, his first appearance in the last panel of the story. And I love it. So it's kind of pretty much saying, Hey, Hulk, stop picking on Wendigo. Why don't you choose somebody your own size? Well, but the thing is, he can't, well... Wendigo is his size, isn't it? Yeah, he's got some balls, huh? Wolverine's got some brass ones, some big brass ones. All right. This was the last book I picked up from the Craigslist Hall. Invincible Iron Man number one. Uh, I would say it's probably a solid three. Maybe, you know, it could go either way. It could go... Uh, lower or higher depending on how you look at it and you know what if you guys want to give your opinion on that I'd appreciate it as well it looks like the staple is intact there but oh, where'd it go there I think it's attacked I think it's attached I'm pretty sure it's attached uh, I'll open it up one more time guys let's just fill up a little bit of time if you guys are still with me Here we go. Oh, don't tape pull. Like I said, you tape pull once, you'll never do it again. And if you do it again, well, that's your own fault. So there's that staple there. And there's that staple there. And the back. Yeah, the back's too, not too bad. It's not all crinkly or anything. They got, of course, you got spine wear. That's to be expected. The, uh, the pages are nice, though. The pages are nice. So look. I see, it's kind of hard to tell. I think, oh, it is attached. Barely, it's hanging on. So I better not be messing with this uh, much sooner. Or, uh, much sooner. I just shouldn't be messing with this any more than I have. I'll leave it right there. So that's the end of my haul, guys. And uh, let me know how it did. Um, I'm pretty confident I did well, but yeah. Uh, interaction's really good. I love the interaction at the beginning with a lot of my viewers lately. Uh, it, uh, you know, it fills up a lot of my time, lets me know there's others out there, and uh, I can burst, shoot the breeze with, with anybody out there. I really appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Um, so with that said, uh, you guys have a good week, and happy hunting. All right, this is uh, Comic Fan. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.